It's local edition. I'm Brad Pomeranz. Thank you for joining us. We are joined by two guests. We have Chris Gallucci. He is the director of the Shambhala Reserve. We are also joined by Tippi Hedren. You know Tippi, she's one of America's most accomplished actresses. I want to talk to you about Shambhala. What exactly is the Shambhala Reserve? Yeah, first of all, Brad, it's really nice to be back with you. Thank you. And uh, we are not a reserve, we are a preserve. Mm, explain and the difference. It is that, well, we are, we are preserving and um, in order, and a sanctuary, mm -hmm. and in order to be true sanctuary, uh, the word means no breeding, no buying, no selling, no trading, no commercial use outside the city limits, adequate veterinary care, and a financial plan in case anything happens to the owner or the director, and, and and that it, you won't become part of the problem. Sure. What's interesting about the preserve, 54 cats on the land, and there's also no touching. And I Not wanted, anymore. Yeah, no. talk to me, Chris, about the decision that there would be no contact between the 54 big cats and humans. Well, we had an accident um, years ago. Prior to that, there was touching of the animals, and since the accident happened, Tippy took full responsibility for the accident, literally, and said we have to come up with a new game plan, and so we became a hands-off facility. And in order to be a hands-off facility, we had to figure out a way to take care of our animals and our compound with not touching the animals, but still keep the enrichment of the animals with the human beings and keep that relationship going. So we have a whole series of holding cages in our compounds. Our compounds are not cages, but each compound has a holding cage. So therefore the animals eat in the holding cage. So the crew is able to feed the animal in the holding cage, slide a series of gates, close a series of gates, segregate the animal from the compound. Then the, while the animal is eating, the crew can go in the compound, clean the compound, then release the animal. What's interesting is, you know, you look at these big cats and they look like our domestic cats. And so we want to hug them. We want to hold them. We want to mm -hmm. touch them. But we think about what happened with Siegfried and Roy. We think about the accident you mentioned. In the news recently, a woman was attacked by a domestic chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. I mean, as cute and as loving as they may, we may think they are, they're not meant to No, interact. they're not, and they shouldn't be. They shouldn't even be born in the United States. The, we're dealing with apex predators here with the big cats, with all of the with all of the cats. And you actually are an advocate, one of the nation's strongest advocates for an, a bill pending yes. in Congress called the Federal Ban on the Breeding of Big Cats yes. Act. Tell us about that. Uh, that uh, bill is, is really necessary because when you, when you consider the fact that these animals are being born, bred and born in the United States to be somebody's pet or for financial gain, to be put in a show, you know, for that sort of thing. Uh, and dealing with an apex predator whose job it is out in the wild to take out a Hunt sick animal, or old animal, lame animal, that's why you never see them. And that's their job and they get their dinner at the same time. Now there is nothing good about having these animals as, as a pet or to be used in shows. It's cruel, it's uh, punishment for them, and it's so dangerous for us. Tippi, I wanted to ask, <laughs> Chris, yeah. if I may, you had had elephants on site. Oh, yes. You are an elephant expert. They've lived out their lives, so, and we honor that. Talk to us about the elephant in our final moments. Um, our elephants at Shambhala, I mean, we had sure. two African elephants, Timbo and Cora. Cora was a female African that came to us from a circus. Timbo came to us from a game preserve in Canada. He was the largest African male in the United States. Um, and they died of natural causes and lived out their life. I had what? 27 unbelievable, beautiful, magnificent We'll talk more about elephants. that in the future, you promise? Sure. Okay, I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you for joining us. Back to HLN. Today, everything you need to be entertained is ready and waiting right inside your home. Thanks to Charter Digital Cable. Sign up and you get over 100 of the most popular channels, all in crystal clear quality and sound. Plus an easy to use program guide that makes it simple to find all your favorites. More drama, more news, more laughs for less. Suddenly, staying in is in again. Bring your home to life with Charter Digital Cable. Call today.